as Gaisuko continues to move towards self-sustainability, the corporation will be implementing tours on several estates to increase revenue, a move that has been welcomed by the tourism industry. We're here at Gaisuko's Eiflat Estate where we're about to embark on the Sugar Heritage Tour that is going to be the brand new package offered by the Ghana Sugar Corporation in the coming months. This is part of us experimenting with blending tourism into production while we still um, do our core business, which is sugar production um, and molasses, producing sugar and molasses, and um, using the same resources to do that. It is expected that with the feedback received from the tour operators today, the Ghana Sugar Corporation will be better able to tweak their package to suit the tourism sector. They already have their tourism ready, meaning that they already have the product, they already have everything in place, safety, security. It's really just about um, smoothing out the rough edges, which can be put together with um, agencies such as the Ghana Tourism Authority stepping in and providing that training and you know um, giving them pointers pointers on how to conduct these tours. I could see adding on to it. I could see doing it as a half day tour, doing it as a full day tour, adding on both the conservancy, which is right at the back here, adding on the, the Demerara distilleries at one end and the conservancy in the other end, and even a part of an Esequibo tour. You've got a week's activities here that we could do. By this being part of a week's activities and I can add this into itineraries easily. As you heard from the tour operators just now, there are just a few more things that need to be tweaked before this package is ready for the public. From the Ganeshgur Corporation's Eiffel Estate with videographer Anil Silal, I am Nikosi Bruce for InfoHub. Mm -hmm.